question, so I'm doing a new video. This was uh, to Kirk's question of where do we start um, wireframing with the Academy? So there's a lot there that we want to unpack. Um, and actually, I just to diverge for a little bit, I went into like deconstructing the Academy and what makes a university situation uh, really uh, wonderful. And there are certain places like the quad, um, the dorm, the hall, the clubhouse. So only one of these places are official formal learning places, right? So you go to the, the hall where uh, someone's lecturing and you get to see who has the answers, uh, who's like paying attention and who isn't paying attention, who's talking, usually the professor, and who takes nice notes. <laughs> uh, but there's so much more else uh, that's part of uh, like an educational academic uh, place. And we have to make this a permeable place that you can inhabit uh, when you are at home with with your family or you know this is a virtual academy uh, but it might have in-person physical um, events and things that help us bring back the qualities the qualities of the quad the qualities of the dorm this is what I'm, we're looking for so the quad might be a four by four van or a four by four uh, truck um, it gives you a chance to sit to people that you might not know already and draw up conversation that's really cool if you're going somewhere uh, i went with a hydrologist and a group from maui tomorrow to check some of the uh, stream flows in east maui and we got to go uh, do a little hiking together and uh, so you carpool you hike together uh, you take photos you take videos you share the, the results of that trip um Okay. Also, do you have people that you might be uh, interacting with that you don't want to interact with? Why? We have to really clear these things before we can go forward. Hmm. Okay. And then the dorm, uh, if you're doing maybe multi-day trip survey uh, experience, then you get to have story time by the campfire. And uh, I've been reading, reading Sweetgrass, um, by uh, Wal Kimmer, it's a professor. Uh, she's a bio biologist and uh, indigenous knowledge keeper. Robin Kimmer Wall. I think that's it. Anyways, wonderful, wonderful book, and she narrates the thing uh, on Audible, and so you hear her speaking through your phone and re it's just a wonderful story time and she talks about lichen how they're a biological symbiotic uh team of fungus uh, and a, a plant a um was it Mo there's one that's a helio uh, heterotrope and a autotrope they come together in times of need uh, to share resources uh, opihi are also a, a local I guess shellfish all around the world has been a food source. Opihis are just like things that attach to each other. So I think the lichen and the opihi are... Uh, what's that story there? Let's tell, do a story time. Um, oh, back to the academy. Uh, there's also a bookstore where you can buy, rent, or lease uh, materials like books and stuff. Uh, top 10 features to prototype, well, what's going to give us engagement, uh, probably a discussion board uh, or uh, the real life, yeah, real life, maybe the, ga the galleries and the sharing of like what we actually did, um, the post discussion uh, or post event discussions. I was also planning, there's a lot of like uh, coordination. Uh, I think also seeing the long-term uh, path where you could be going and navigating that. So what's the stack of courses that are or experiences? I think we have to clarify this. This needs to be more clarified. If it's uh, for using a, a gameful uh, frame. 
because it could be just badges, right? Yeah. Um, and then here's more radical thinking about um, the, the model, the educational model. Is it, can we flip the extractive uh, credit, uh, you pay tuition for credits versus we actually uh, pay you for credits and it's paid uh, cadet training for regenerative development, right? Because we should be asking you to go into debt uh, to better the world. <laughs> to which I bring up the Singapore model. Uh, by, and that, by that I mean how the, the government of Singapore will send its best and brightest students to universities in the States and in, in Europe uh, and maybe across, and probably in China too. Um, I don't Yeah, they send them out wherever they want to go uh, and then have them come back from those experiences having learned from those um, those pillars of uh, academic might and uh, then they go into the civic workforce and work for the government for a few years and then they go into uh, the private sector if they like or stay in the public sector and have a very stable career in the, in the public in the private sector you can have a more volatile, exciting career. It's a, it's a choice, kind of your risk, your risk profile. Um, I think, <laughs> I was thinking like, who would, who would I want to do this with? I'm currently applying for uh, Kuleana Academy, which is civic training for the state of Hawaii progressives. So would they, would these be the logos of the stakeholders involved in this? Because I don't know if this exists as a white paper. Uh, how Singapore has been, done a really good job of building human capital. Probably out there, so I need to do some more research too. All right, that's my share. Two videos. How do you think that turned out? Was that a good share? Uh, Aloha from Maui. Take care.